While the member representing Yaba East, Yaba West, Mo Pamoro Federal Constituency, Kogi State, and the Chairman House Committee on Customs, Honorable Leke Abejide, has appealed to Nigerians to be patient with the present administration as efforts are ongoing to build a better Nigeria for all citizens. Honorable Leke Abejide made this known today in Abuja while addressing parliamentary reporters on the need for Nigerians to shun the planned protest. He cited health care, infrastructural development, local government autonomy, unification of foreign exchange markets, reviewed national minimum wage, adequate security as activities lined up by President Bola Tenibu to alleviate the sufferings of the common man. They just increased, about some few months ago, electricity bill was increased to, two, first of, to 268 per kilowatt. After some time, when there was noise everywhere, this government, be a listening government, government, reduced it to 68 naira per kilowatt. But people are not aware. Just two days ago, somebody was complaining to me that he is paying a lot of bill, that is so much, this is the amount he's paying per kilowatt, 206 now. I said, no. He said, that is there. I said, okay, buy a unit in my presence. And the person bought unit of 65,000 naira, and they gave her 935 kilowatts. I said, divide it. So 68, he said, ah, this government is not talking. They have even achieved this, and nobody knows. So these are the things we need to point correctly to the people for them to know. Now, electricity no longer 206 for Bande is 68 naira per kilowatt. Go and check. He called on all, all hands to be on deck to make Nigeria the envy of many. Now, joining me in the studio to discuss this subject matter is the member representing Yaba East, Yaba West, and Mopa Mura Federal Constituency of Kogi State and person of Honorable Leke Abejide. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. Now, this, do you believe the grievances raised by these protesters are justified? To me, Well, I cannot say they are not justi justified, but looking at the time this government came in and what they are asking for, I don't think it's right for now. The government that is just 13 months old, you are asking for so much. <laughs> Foundation has not even been laid. The first budget has not yet been implemented. So, well, I, I, as I said in my speech today, that um, I, I share their pains. I have families who are passing through the same thing. But let us give this government a chance. So that after laying the foundation, if this thing still persists, I will join you in. I will join those people clamoring for protest and even protest myself. But government that is just a baby, even though you give birth to a baby that is just 13 months, what can that baby do? Baby will still be, you know, maybe trying to walk straight, just manage to walk. The same thing with a new government that just came in, that is trying to build on nothing. If to say there is a solid foundation before the government came, it's really going to be a different thing entirely. But it's a new administration. Let's give it a chance. Now, in the latest development, the House is expected to cut short its recess for this course. What should we be expecting from the legislators? Well, uh, I don't think it's for this course purposely. I think it's for a little amendment to the budget passed. To the budget, okay, not really so, for the planned protest. No, not for protest. We have a I, I believe any right thinking youth will not join this protest because it will lead him or her to nothing. Instead, it will cause more problem and pains to him and the, or her and the family. Because, okay, tell me, if they even protest, is that one going to change the price of rice per, uh, today, tomorrow? Is he going to bring job to them tomorrow? It, there is no how there will be no crisis if they come out because you know now they are divided. 
the greater number of people say, no, we don't need protest now. And some few who have been sponsored by disgruntled politicians are saying that they want to go and protest. So two groups will come out, one in support of the government, another one that they have been sponsored by disgruntled politicians will also come out. Then there will be classes. And it affects everybody. So, life is going to be lost. Because you see the two groups will fight. This was supporting the government, and the one against the government, the problem comes. So, at the end of the day, there will be a lot of you know, destruction to properties of government and even individuals. In the last exercise they did, some of our colleagues were, in fact, were you know, affected. They, they, there was one that uh, came from the U.S. to establish in Nigeria. His company was burned down in Lagos. And so many like that. So, so there people work in that company since then, they became un unemployed. And that is what is going to happen if they try to come out and protest at this time. Now, in light of these protests, are there immediate policy or legislative measures being considered to address root causes of public discontent? Well, if you look at all their demands, there is no correlation to what is happening in Nigeria now. They are talking about the release of Nam Dikanu. Most of them are shouting <laughs> high so cost of uh, to, to, to food stock. The release of Nam Dikanu has to do with the uh, economy now. So, you have, yes, definitely, but you just read it now. I listened to you. The president has signed into law the new minimum, minimum wage. wage. So, that is part of the solution to the problem. You don't even allow policy to start working and then you want to riot against it. Because to me, it's a riot they want to cause, not protest. As I told you, there will be two groups outside. Those in support, they are more than them. And then problem will, will arise from them. People like us, we have our supporters who are supporting government. And they will not sit down and see somebody trying to you know, cause problem for uh, the government that you are working to improve upon. They will not sit down and be watching them. So they will also come uh, out and defend the government and say, yes, this is our government. We allow it time. Give it minimum two and a half years. This will work right. So they should give a minimum of two and a half years. Yes. Before you can see any policy start for. In fact, I cannot just say for you, but at least with the way things are going, in less than two and a half years, there will be impact. I just said it in my press briefing that in the next three months, prices of food will fall huh. and the farmers will start crying that government is not encouraging them but we cannot because of that allow people to die of hunger hmm. you see the policy the government is trying to do this 150 days window to import food items is going to crash the prices of food uh, for the millers who are looking for paddy that is brown rice to process rice they will get it at a very cheap rate. Right. And when the government is going to you know, give it at a discounted, very cheap price, so when you buy cheap paddy, you cannot say you're going to sell the rice expensive. So these are the measures that are coming up. So allow it to come first before talking. So as a legislator, what have you done for your constituents? I think uh, we should start from there first. What are the areas in what in talking infrastructure development? I mean, you know, food skyrocketing in the market. What have you done for your constituents? Uh, let's start with you as a legislator. Uh, me, I believe in two critical things in politics. Physical infrastructure and stomach infrastructure. infrastructure. So this is what I do <laughs> in my place. You see, I always win my election because I see that there is need for our people to be taken care of. I have programs for them. Apart from what government gives to us to share, I use personally buy food items. Like now, 
should go to my place now. Uh, they just discharge one trailer of rice, and another two trailers is coming. But we, we've I want to we've do pulling unit by pulling unit. But we've seen instances where these bags of rice are also rebagged to sell in the market. My own, you are not. That's why I've not done it now because of now we have food in our place. We are not lazy. This is harvest in season. That's not, that's why I stop it because now people can eat. They go to farm. They get their yam. They get the corn. They get everything now easy, cheap, and then they eat. There's no problem now. So, but I'm going to do it maybe around November. Okay. By then. It's not, I'm not going to give back. I am going to spend like complete maybe like two weeks. I monitor myself. We are going to be as, do it local government by local government, but not one day. We can do your bias. That's my local government in a day, in maybe two, three days. We will ask people to come out and line out in their pooling unit. Uh, at least uh, this will go down to the grassroots also. I will personally monitor from the beginning to the end of the local government. I when I'm done with that, I will move to the next local government, maybe after three days. I believe if this is done, um, the issue of um, protest or no protest will be a thing of the past. Yes. You know, you're also talking and about local government. I also autonomy. give materials, you know, when it is time during that period, I make sure, especially the widows who have nobody to take care of them, I make sure I include them. So what will be your message for the protesters, Nigerian youth, your fellow lawmakers regarding issues highlighted by these protesters or what the term as bad governance movement? What is your call on youth? What is your call on Nigerians? My fellow Nigerians, especially the youth of this country, I want to appeal to you to give this government a little more time. Whatever you, are, you want to achieve or you want this government to do, we are there for you. And then we'll make sure it gets done to you. We are ready, and you can see from the action of the president, who has given autonomy to all the local governments, 774 of them in this country, that is, the money meant for them will not get to them. You can question your local government chairman. If things refuse to change in the next maybe three months, ask him, you know how much is coming to him as a chairman of the local government. What has he done with it in a month? I will join you in this struggle. I will make sure I monitor my own local government, all the local government under me, and see what is getting to them, how are they using it, how are our people benefiting? The president is far from you. He has done his bid by giving them this opportunity for the money to easily get to you mm. in terms of you know, food items, getting employment at the local level. To see the president is very difficult, but to see your local government chairman is very easy. easy. This is what the president has done to make sure the governance trickled down to the grassroots level and by extension to you at the local level. Please stop all this agitation. People want you to die. Ask them, those who are sponsoring you to come out, where are their own children? They are not with you. They are in the United States of America, they are in Canada, they are in the UK, they are in Germany, they are in all advanced countries. Okay. Don't let them use you as a scapegoat. Yes, you shown the planned nationwide protest. While we've been speaking with the Chairman House Committee on Customs and the member representing Yagba East, Yagba West, Mo Pamoro Federal Constituency of Kogi State. Thank you very much. We'll take a quick short break and when we come back, the news continues.